Morning chaps, welcome back for another shave. And <clears throat> first of all, um, I've been using this Master Olivia Travel Strap. This is this is the Travel Strap, which is basically it's, it's big enough, it does, it does a lovely job. But uh, made a, another order, I bought the slightly bigger one now, and the leather is just fantastic on these. Beautiful leather, smoothest the skin on your palm of your hand so that's the difference in size so gonna be using this one today I'm gonna pop that one back up there one second whoops so yeah just the right perfect size this is for using at home the green paste on the back there Another Master Olivia Razor. Beautiful wooden box, handmade, like a olive, olive wood. And the razor is just a little 6 8 square point, and it's bow coat scales. And it's a full hollow, but Master Olivia's are full hollows, a little bit thicker, as you can see. More like a half grind. I think he makes them like that. I think he, uh, this is his version of a full hollow. Um, I do believe that that little bit more meat produces a great shoe. And as you can see, there's hardly any bevel on there, the micro bevel, which is what my strategy puts on there. So yeah, nice little razor, signature on there. You can see that. And they come with the usual screw that you can just tighten up to your desired tension. Right, so that's that. So we're going all Italian again using the SV soap. This is my favourite SV soap. Beautiful scent. Going to be using the matching 70th anniversary splash. So, uh, right, get leveled up, and uh, this will be the first time I've used this straight out of the box. I've been using the uh, Graffetto for the last. I'll show you that one again just to remind you. Wooden box. Been using this one for the last nine shaves. So I've used this all week long for the last nine shaves and uh, still going strong. <coughs> I'm not sure about how many shaves I'll get out of that, but it'll be interesting to know. But nine so far on that one. Both razors uh, with an inox steel. And I'm just using a two band silver tipped Simpsons brush. A little brush this is, but quite like it. Prefer it to the bigger chubby actually. It's just easy to use, it fits in the hand nice, nice and doddy. Okay, let's get this one. Yeah, Maestro Olivia is more or less retired now, so I dealt with his son mainly, Luca. Been really good. Set me some blocks of cream on that side. Free of charge, just because he uh, wants to look after me. So I've got a long time supply of cream blocks.
Yeah, the thing about the Badger brush is compared to the synthetics as well. The synthetic does build up a quicker lather, but I find that with the synthetic brushes, the lather flies everywhere. With a, with a Badger brush, you've got more control of the soap. It doesn't splash and flop and fly everywhere when you're lathering up. So I do prefer that about the Badger. Right then. Is that on? Nice wood that. Very nice. So, gonna use this for the first time and we'll get this on camera. So there we go. That feels like silk, that was really smooth. You're not you're not getting smoother leather than that is. If you can hear that. Fantastic. And then on the palm. Multiple passes just to clean the edge. He took the blade, I think, right, there he goes. And that shaded nice. Yeah, that shave's uh, identical to the Griffo. Nice and smooth, removes the stubble easily, and that is one pass close. Very nice. No problems there, so it's definitely shave ready out of the box. Yeah, that's shaving nice. Nice little size, dead easy to hold, easy to shave with. I actually checked the, checked the edge under the um, microscope, it was a perfectly nice bevel, very thin bevel, um, HHT, nice and easy, so I thought that would shave well, really, yeah, it's good, very good. Grind on that's definitely uh, hard 
my fault then. But I like it. Nice shoes. Right, let's go across the green. Get the palms dropped before that just to restore that edge after the first pass. Nice, it's a basic razor. I mean, Master Olivia really does some whopping big ones, but you know, this is quite a nice, just a nice, easy razor to use. So, nice design. Lovely. That's so very smooth, that. Nice. I mean, to say, I think Maestro Olivia, like I said before, he, he sets all his bevels on the free key. Never ever goes lower than that. I did learn that from him years ago. Uh, I mean, on the forums, you'll see people saying they use the 1K, use the 3K. Free, for most razors, the 3K is more than enough. Then he uses the, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I know he uses a cortical after, after the 3K with water. And then he uses the green paste on the loom strong and then the leather. And that's it. Seems to do the job and work nicely. Let's just go against the grain with this razor.
The scent off the soap on a summer's day is beautiful. Really nice, this one. It's the 70th anniversary. I can't pronounce the name of the soap, but it's the SV. So it's from Italy. Nice, nice and fresh it is. You can smell that from here. Water on there. <coughs> just gonna have a few more lots on this just to. Restore that edge. Let's go against the green. Yes, it's a nice comfortable edge, which is just what you want. Excuse me. Nice there, that's my sensitive area, and that was perfect. Yeah, smooth that. That was really smooth, comfortable. Yeah, good. Yes, very nice, very, very nice. It's going against the green. It's very comfortable. Let's just do the chin and then we're done.
Very, very close. Yeah, false pass, no problem. Well, I can honestly say that was a lovely edge that was. Very, very nice. Shaved superb. And that's inox steel. Very smooth steel. Right, let's see how, if we've got any alum blocks doing. Just a little bit there, I think I missed. I seem to um, not get that little bit there. Right, let's see what see what the other blocks got to say. No sting there, none at all. Nothing there. Little tingle, but nothing. Chin, just a, little, just a tingle. Neck. I can honestly say there's no after sting with that alum block. So that is a very kind edge. It's always a good test with alum block. If it stings and it really irritates your skin, then you know you've had a half shave. So the alum block's a good test. Put that back. Rinse off the alum. Pat the fetty face dry. Splash on. This is very um, acidic, and uh, that's lovely. It's nice and refreshing. Like I say, no alum block sting. After shave's not fried my face. The shave was great. The razor performed as good as it should. And that was straight out of the box shave really. So thank you, Master Olivet. Done a great job there. And thanks, Luca, for uh, cooperating with me and. Uh, Sorting the uh, items out, and they were they were posted by FedEx from Italy to the UK. One day, and they were here. I mean, that was fantastic service from FedEx as well. So, uh, all round good experience. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And my next shave should be sometime next week. I've got a little Master Livy travel kit. I'll be using that razor when I get around to it, um, and. Uh, showing you the little bits and bobs in there so have a great day and i'll see you soon bye now